Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations here again and uh, welcome to part 11 on how to make a yearbook journal. So we are going to cover off the back of this page and uh, bind it to the book. And <laughs> I must admit, admit I had to put on a couple of flowers here. So <laughs> I love them. So now we are going to start on this page here. So as you see we have the magnet already attached here and um, I also cut out a little uh, um, from one inch punch half circle here and uh, fussy cut this flower here and that's from the same paper and I glued it on with a multi mat. So we are going to take that on now and I see I've forgotten to etch one here, so we'll do that really fast, like so. And now I put my glue in another place. <laughs> Did something in the middle time. <laughs> Sorry for that. This will fit now. Try to line it up here first. Like so. And uh, we also want to cover up this magnet here. And now I forgot myself so maybe I've taken glue on inside here. Shouldn't have done that. Maybe I was lucky. <laughs> Remember, don't take any glue up on your magnets. They uh, are not so strong then. So now we can see if we can find a flower here to cover up this magnet here. I think this will do. Be sure again, not in the middle here. So there we go. This we have to work a bit with, so it will fasten properly. take my nails a bit around um, the magnet. So. But it will work for now. I think I can work with it a bit later. So I'm going to take the top on here. And this I also cut out from the same die. to cut it upside down so the roses are upside down <laughs> but some roses are hanging as well so <laughs> that's okay and as you see I took it a bit short one eighth of an inch around so here and this is from the 8x8 sheet and I just glued it down on some paper here and uh, scored around it so I can cut that off. So you don't have to be precise here. 
also want to round it here a bit. Like so. So we fold this in and take glue on. So many of these pockets are not for any special use but it's just for some fun. And you can put small tags in or memories or something. So that's what it's all about, isn't it? <laughs> Have fun. So I'm so enjoying myself when I can be in my craft room and create something. So I think that will work. And I cut out this lady. I thought maybe she could go inside here. Just loose. And maybe a couple of tags. One behind, maybe, like so. And I have a little lady here, but I don't think I will use her. Uh, I can show you this here, it says memories. And uh, the way you can round it like so to make it easy, you can take any round shape you have and uh, draw a line, hope you can see that, around here. Like so. And when you then cut in the line, and this I made far too big. And you can start, if you have a word with the seven letters, you start in the middle with a fourth letter and work your way down. And you drew around after. So that's just a little tip. So we are going to take this on, but I also want some flowers here, I think. So we'll put them on first. A couple of these should maybe have a green leaf also, but I don't think I have any more cut out. So now we can glue this one down. Also some pop dots here. Like so. So maybe we can put her on here. No, I 
think it's enough. So now for the tag inside. I'm going to put the tag inside here. And um, the measurements here are Eight and a half, no, no, eight and a quarter by five. So I just first want to make sure I can get it all the way down so the hinges won't be in the way. Yeah, this time it works. <laughs> so here I have put out the paper, and if you see this border around here. It's from the sticker sheet and it was uh, from the lace, um, um, the pink lace border. So this is the leftover that I just cut out and uh, and this was this was around um, the sticker sheet so I used it. So we are going to glue that on. And this is one eighth of an inch smaller than the brown paper. And here I have uh, cut out this image and fussy cut around and put on some small hinges here around. So we are going to make a pocket out of this. But you can use uh, the whole frame if you don't like to fussy cut so much. So all the things I've done in this uh, tutorial you can pick out what you like and what you want to use and uh, make it your own style. So the meaning is just to give you some ideas what you can do. But of course you, you can create it all if you like to. So. And here are some leftover paper I used and uh, these corners are from the sticky sheet and also this perfect picture says and also this one and these are also stickers so button stickers so I just uh, uh, tied a no uh, knot <laughs> here so this is going to go inside here if I haven't glued down the sides here and it should be working. Yeah. And this is going to go on the top, like so. So maybe should have some letters here as well. I see what I do later. So I can just uh, write something or use some letters. That uh, fits your you your use of it. So now for the back side. And um, here is another pocket we are going to make and um, we are not going to take hinges on this one because it takes too much place in the pocket and here I put two stripes together. So let's just glue that down. If you want a pocket that you're going to fill a lot of, then you have to score um, these and make one eighth of an inch on each side here. So it became a bit, so you have more uh, room inside. And we are going to have this, uh, this one inch uh, circle punch. So we are going to glue that uh, down as a flap so we can take out our tag of the pocket. 
Um, yeah, I should have done that last. I just hurry and put this inside for a moment. So it's important to place it right here. here. That was <laughs> the flower on top. I haven't glued it properly down but I will do that later. So. See here I have some images. With a little tag is going in the pocket here. I think we do it like that. and in the side here and in the bottom. Like. So that way we can slide something behind her. to put inside. If you like you can also put one on here to pop it out but I think it's enough with this one. So see it's not probably glued down on the side here so I will do that before I bind it. find the book. And yeah, um, if you see here, this was this page here. And uh, the strip we cut out here, I made a tag and I glued the lady down and I used uh, from the sticker sheet here in the corners and also fashioned. So this will slide behind here, like so. And I think I want the flower on here as well. So we're going to glue that on here. So I have uh, um, taken one more um, thread here, so I can stick something under here. So now I think it's ready to go inside here. So I 
going to bind this on. So this time I've taken a longer thread, it's more easy then. Except when I'm on the camera. <laughs> here but I will just check that I did it okay. Yes, that's fine. So now we can cover up put something on the back here and that I have forgotten <laughs> so I will do that and be back in a moment. Sorry for that. So I find I had just enough of these two leftovers from this border here so and I also took some uh, of um, this Tim Holtz stain around so now it's ready to glue down. If you like you can uh, glue these uh, strips down but I won't do it because uh, then I can't slide them so I will just leave them like so. strips of hinges over. Just have to hold a bit it's these two last strips. While I'm holding this so I can tell in the next episode we are going to decorate the inside here and then this side here. here. So, now for 
the other side here. Like so. So now the whole book is binded and uh, it's full. So it's just outside and the flaps here again. So again, thank you so much for watching and uh, have fun creating. Take care. Bye bye.